Hey going guys and just a really like super 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 quick uh, video uh, might not be so quick uh, there's a little bit to get around but this is for people that um, are having problems with the Boeing 737 or the 146 or the MD-80 not being able to fly for more than a certain amount of hours for myself as you know it's two hours and 30 minutes or so so I've come across uh, somebody that has uh, helped me out a great deal and now I can actually fly a lot longer than two hours. And it's all down to uh, the caching of areas. Okay, so I leave Brisbane uh, and uh, fly to another location and the sim needs to update all of this stuff to, so it, it puts it into the sim. And the thing is, is Brisbane's already been cached and it's still sitting there, it's not deleting it. and. Um, overriding it into the new areas so it's still sitting there and then there's just not a lot of data and then the sim crashes uh, and or or I just get the degradation uh, sounds and very low frames now how do I go about fixing this issue okay uh, you've seen it on some streams and I've said that I've been trying to fix it really really well now the easiest way to do it is to just come to general options right <clears throat> so we'll come to general options and we'll go down to data and as you can see I have current data cached up to 80 gig that's just ridiculous isn't it um, <clears throat> so far like it's just insane the consumption of current data so what I have done now so I'm gonna change a few different things here <clears throat> I'm gonna set my rolling cache to 100 gigabytes Alrighty, I'm gonna set it for a hundred gigabytes. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I guess we could just, don't need that. So we'll set it to hundred gig and we'll apply that. Let the rolling cache sort itself out. <clears throat> so this is one way of getting it. So if you don't have that much gigabyte space, then don't, um, and don't uh, go that high. All right, so just do what you think you can do. I had it on 20 and I'm gonna bring mine up to uh, a little bit higher now. Hang on a second, guys. Sorry about that. So this can take a few, a few minutes or so. So we're gonna do this in live time. Now in Australia, we don't have overly quick internet. Uh, so it's a little hard for us to get the, the speeds that we need to download the pre-caching and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, like it, it streams in so slow. So for some people, this may take a lot quicker than what you're getting right here. Now I'm at 50%, but I am changing it to 100 gig. So I am making a folder in my area, where, just in here, to be just for the flight sim, okay? <clears throat> So we're, we're getting on with that right now. So it'll probably be deleting everything and then be starting it all up again. But there's another cache that we will be also selecting and setting up. <clears throat> In a second, just hang on a second. It's not too far off now. So what I am suggesting some people do is take the time to go around to different airports that they like flying to uh, with the airliners. It's just like ortho in X-Plane, okay? It's exactly the same as ortho in X-Plane, but it can be done in Microsoft Flight Simulator via the manual cache. Alrighty, so if we come into the, so it's all sorted. If we go into manual cache view, it is super, super easy, okay? Now you'll notice if I scroll out here out of America and come over to Australia, you'll see some white dots. I've already done some testing all right, so Brisbane took nine gig. That is just purely because I have the uh, Brisbane airport scenery there, but I don't have any scenery down in um, Sydney. So that was the uh, the big area. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, so that's the high fidelity um, area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll right into Sydney. So I get the same area. I'm gonna type in Sydney. And then I'm gonna scroll out, okay? So I'm gonna cache new region. So we'll uh, do that first. So we scroll in, get a center reference point, go over here to cache new region, type
type in the region. Now I'm going to type in Sydney area because that's the part that I'm up to now. Alrighty. And then as you can see here, you got high quality, medium quality and low quality. Now what I did for the high quality and I'll do that first is I scroll all the way out until it goes to medium and there you go. And I scroll back in until it's high. And then you right click up on these little squares, which you'll see me do in a minute and you drag the whole screen and that made this little white square. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll all the way out until it goes to low, just when it goes to low. And there, it is now on low. So what we'll do is we'll right click and drag across the screen. So the blue stays inside the area. And after that, we'll download. Now this won't take long at all, it's only low. <clears throat> all right very very low so if, if it it might tell me that it's actually quite bad there you go it's done low is really well done okay so let's go ahead and do melbourne okay and then we'll just end it there so we'll do the high for melbourne now this could possibly take a little while longer to do melbourne Alrighty. so we'll just scroll on in that's not melbourne that is there so you scroll all the way in on melbourne is, is whatever that's as far as you can get in on melbourne all right, so you go Y M M L like that Melbourne. So we center it up. Create cache. We'll take. We'll say that this is Melbourne. Y M M L. You can write whatever you want. Melbourne Airport, whatever. That's fine. Now we'll uh, scroll out until the high disappears. All right, and scroll in one. Again, right clicking up the top, keeping the blue lines, try and get as much as you can, but the blue lines have to stay inside your screen because it does kind of go outside a little bit and then hit finish and download. So now what it's doing is it's downloading the, this part here, the high will take the longest, okay? Um, Cause it's obviously high definition and then you'll have your low definition so estimated time remaining how long it's going to take now this i don't have any scenery down here but it is melbourne sydney did not take me a long at all um says five minutes remaining maybe hopefully it doesn't take overly long because uh, i haven't got anything to cut videos yet i'm pretty much doing all of my videos raw uh, so i might even just put timestamps in this video uh, for the next area. So it's going to take another 2 minutes and 25 seconds to complete. So that's not too long for the video. So you'll see it in real time completing. <clears throat> so here we go. Shouldn't be too much longer now. Okay, so now it's at 3 minutes 10. Now this is because the internet in Australia is so slow. This could go like super quick for you. Uh, the reason why Brisbane was so big uh, was because I have the Orbic scenery. So if you're trying to do this around an, um, an airfield that already has scenery packs or um, airports that you've downloaded from the marketplace or whatever, it will probably take a little bit longer and it will add so many gigabytes to it as well. So what this is doing is if your internet drops out or uh, you're in an airport that you really, like an area that you're coming into, the pre-cache is already there and your internet does not have to take over. And then your SIM should not crash. Because when you think about it, when you're flying high up in the air, like 8,000 feet or 10,000 feet or even higher with the uh, the airliners, there's no real cash being added because there's no detail on the ground for you to worry about. But when you're starting to come into descent, you've just taken off from like a major airport uh, and then you're going into another major airport with an airliner. And that's why you get that sound crackling pop or the low FPS fixes. So there is plenty of other fixes out there for you and I suggest you try some of them like going into the registry and selecting the MDU and changing it. Uh, there's also a few other things that you can change the photogrammetry settings. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, you can change your graphics to uh, lower settings, like optimizing your simulator. There is plenty out there 
and I think I may do some videos for that to help the airliners out so I'll make this as like episode one sort of thing for optimizing your system for airliners but once this is completely done you will have a manual cache of your airport that you have chosen you can do multiple airports I'm only going to do these three and I'm going to test it I'm going to test flying through each of them and uh, yeah hopefully it will stop the sound crackling pop and the FPS drops with airliners and we can just yeah finally go into different areas I'll probably do Canberra and Hobart as well and maybe Launceston depending on if I need to but yeah definitely these areas need to be cached and you can set the gigabytes once this is finished I'll show you <clears throat> we've got about 40 seconds to go you will set your cache to a standard level now th this is a little bit finicky the um, setting the gigabytes up there the zeros can like muck around and all that stuff we already know about like the the trying to set your fuel and your weight up in the aircraft the zeros just tend to override everything exactly the same thing now i set mine to 50 gigabytes uh finally <clears throat> so you'll set your uh the reason i set it to 50 is because brisbane's so expensive uh well not expensive but yeah <clears throat> so as you can see i set it to 50 all right you can set it to whatever you want, but you can see how much you've already got. Now, 9 gig, I'm already getting close to 10 gig um, just by looking at that. So all now I do, okay, is we create a new region from here. We are still sitting in high here, as you can see, but we're just going to go again, Y and M L, and we'll tap in area. And then I'll scroll out from the center point all the way to the first low, which is there. Again, right click up in the corner, making sure the blue stay in the screen. Done. And then hit final cache. So basically what it does is it caches the area. So if I was to like depart or enter any of these particular areas, <clears throat> this all this is done for me. The sim doesn't have to overly work and try and do it so quick when you're descending really quickly. You're just like you're going so fast with your aircraft it doesn't have to uh, catch up and that's what I find a lot of people with airliners have that problem it's trying to catch up really quickly and it's like hang on a second I am uh, a bit laggy behind I'm gonna start taking away from your performance to catch up on the simulated stuff so if you catch it that's perfectly fine so I really hope this helps now I have my three airports all sorted it's exactly like ortho in um, explain so and it is already it's so simple it's just in um the uh game itself so anyways thank you very much guys uh for watching this really quick weird looking video but uh yeah until next time see you later bye